orientation, disorientation, reorientation. Let me say that again. Orientation, disorientation, reorientation. A lot of you guys have been asking me what we've been up to. Hey Dave, you pitched us this really ambiguous, really vague idea and we haven't heard much from you in quite a while. So what the heck are y'all working on? And because of that, I want to make sure I'm really clear with you guys this week on what exactly is going on. I am going to give you some legitimate next steps that are being taken and I promise you soon we're actually planning it. There will be a video where we tell you in full what is about to happen and how we need your help. But first, I need you to understand this. When you say, Dave, what the heck have y'all been up to? Hear me out. Orientation, disorientation, reorientation. Justin Nigren a couple of weeks ago when I posted this <laughs> big vlog. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here you go. This isn't a big production, man. This is the Tacos and Tunes vlog. <laughs> Clean. Oh yeah, so this guy right here, you met him before when we were over at his house, the first time that I kind of unveiled this big video, a vlog called I've Got Soul. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it in the link below or none of this is gonna make sense to you. We are finally ready to kind of get in on the ground floor of getting a group of you guys together and really looking at uh, what it's gonna take and who it's gonna take to build this vision. You guys are gonna get really concrete details as the week comes. I open this up by talking about orientation, disorientation, reorientation. That is what we're going through right now and I wanna take this opportunity while Justin's over here and we're messing with the whiteboard and we're talking through all the things that are coming in the next weeks um, to really explain that to you guys so you get a really clear vision of what's going on and you can know what's coming so let's go do that so you guys met Justin a few weeks back like I said on a vlog called I've got soul I got a lot of really great feedback from you guys uh, I'm, I think it's very apparent as to why uh, we're working with him and he's kind of mentoring us through this whole process uh, for this big idea that we're working on right now. I mentioned earlier kind of where we are. I know it's an, an, another ambiguous way of saying what the heck have y'all been working on for me to say orientation, disorientation, reorientation. But I want to explain where this is coming from because I Just think it'll- figure it out. Yeah, I know. What are you working on? So years ago, I was talking to a buddy of mine who was actually a counselor and I was talking to him uh, about just some things that I was going through and I think that he on the DL was kind of counseling me without me realizing it. But he started talking to me about this cycle that people go through, that everyone goes through. Orientation, disorientation, reorientation. We set out in life with an orientation, a certain set of beliefs, this is the way that I see the world. We set out sometimes in certain creative or business projects with that, with that same thing. This is the way that I'm gonna tackle this problem. This is the way that I'm gonna tackle this creation or whatever it is that I'm working on. At some point during that process, we encounter friction, something that disorients us. We set out thinking, hey, here's exactly, here are the next steps that I'm gonna take. Here's how I'm gonna build this business. Here's how I'm gonna attack this project. And you get into it and you realize, wait, I can't do what I thought I was going to do. I don't have the skills, I don't have the resources, or maybe the problem I'm trying to solve isn't quite there. I need to either A, give up, realize I set out to do something, I don't think that I can do it, and maybe I don't have what it takes. Unfortunately, a lot of people stop at A, they give up, or B, there are those who are able to look at the situation and say, no, 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 this isn't a wall, this isn't a stopping point, this is just a moment where I need to reorient myself um, before I continue. And that's kind of where we're at with this big, ambiguous idea that I threw out a while ago. We've been meeting with people, we've been talking through things with Justin and with the team, and we're realizing, hey, there are a few areas where we wanna do more discovery and we wanna do more reorientation before we get miles down the road and reorienting is more painful. There's more moving parts, there's money involved, there's all sorts of different things involved. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So the 
reason that I'm so excited to sit down and talk with Justin about this specifically today is because he is one of the few people who realizes that this cycle of orientation, disorientation, and reorientation is just that, it's a cycle. A lot of people look at that as, I set out to do something, I encountered an obstacle, and that means that it has failed and I'm done. And they stop there. I don't know many people who have encountered as many obstacles in the things that you've actually pushed through and accomplished as you have. So I've asked Justin to share a little bit with you guys about his kind of mentality and how he's handled that cycle of orientation, disorientation, reorientation, and what some look at and just call failure. Mm -hmm. um, and like you were saying, some people, when they approach the conflict, when they approach the, the what, what others would consider a failure, they see that as something that is too big to overcome. Mm. We're kind of joking about it, but I've failed a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of failures in my life. I know people who have gone through a similar amount or similar types of failures who consider themselves a failure. And that's one thing that I personally refuse to do. Mm. If I stopped taking risks, that's when I become a failure. Mm -hmm. It's not when I have something fail. I am only a failure when I cease to live into those things that cause me to risk. Mm -hmm. That's so good. <laughs> we got it on tape. <laughs> um, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I had a failed marriage. I can either choose to see myself as a failure because my marriage failed, mm -hmm. or I can take the lessons from the things that caused it to yeah. fail and allow that to make me a better person, yeah. hopefully for my future spouse. And it's the same thing with business. You can take a risk and have something not work out and either choose to accept that as defeat or learn from the failure and integrate that into the next yeah. thing that you're gonna do. So for me, you know, several things that have failed. For all intents and purposes, people from the outside can look at that and go, dude, you launched a thing and four years later it's closed? What's that all about? Mm -hmm. Well, the reality of the matter is, a lot of that was out of my hands. Yeah, and one of my favorite things about Jess, and I've heard a lot of people ask him, would you do it again? Would you do another co-working space? Would you, and instead of being the guy who's like embittered by what he's experienced, he goes, oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, hell yeah. But I would do it here's differently. what I would do differently. Yes, yeah. exactly. We are trying to surround ourselves with people like Justin who are leaning into that and saying like, hey, this thing may have failed, so the next thing won't. At least not this way. An old mentor of mine, um, Ben Pasley, one of my favorite sayings that he would give us, success is continually failing forward in the same direction. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> So all that to say, uh, we are at a really critical part now where it's time to bring people in. I can't do, we can't do what we wanna do without bringing people into the fold more now. At the end of the day, what we're building isn't for me. It's not for Justin. It's for the Dallas creative community. And it's not gonna be built in a bubble over here without you guys. Process. It's gonna be built in a bubble right here with you. <laughs> yes. I want to make sure that we are meeting and doing as much discovery, as much brainstorming, as much talking around this idea as possible, and we can avoid having to reorient ourselves in a very painful, very public way down the road. So in the coming weeks, we're gonna give you dates, we're gonna give you times, we're gonna give you places, we're gonna give you very concrete next steps. Here's what we're trying to build. Here's where we're meeting to talk about it be there. So I've never really done this before in one of these videos before, but I'm going to ask you guys to like this video. I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Maybe you're just seeing this because a friend of yours shared it. Most importantly of all, I'm going to ask you to share this video if anything that you're seeing is resonating with you because I believe that you guys have friends who may be interested in this too, family members who may be interested in this too, little brothers of your girlfriend's cousin, twice removed, whatever it is, someone who follows you on Facebook, another creative that needs to see these videos that needs to know what's coming down the pipeline in Dallas. And the only way they're gonna do that is if you share this. So we really appreciate it with you guys. We'll see you next week.